Sorry about that. I actually had to uh, hold back. Uh, th I didn't want th I didn't want this guy to come and attack me too soon. Look at that guy. He got fucking owned right there. Oh my god. Okay, that's pretty good. So we have two branching paths here. We have this area, and then we have the one over to the my right. I don't know where where I need to go though, so let's check here first. Couple different buildings. Oh my God! What the fuck? Fucking asshole. What an ass. Like, why the hell would you come out through the door like that? They really know how to fucking get people off, I'll tell you what. There's another one here, I know it. There's more antidotes, not like I need it, but... Oh, it's these assholes. Yeah, fuck off, seriously. Okay. What's up here? It's a hole. So I guess you could fall down. Okay, that was a glitch. I thought I saw something. Looks like I can, I can continue going up here. Fuck off. Oh my god. I'm getting so many of these fucking shards now. I have no idea what to do with them now. Like, none of them takes them outside of maybe... Uh... Oh, oh look at this! Ah! Look where we're at! Yeah! We have this location! Well, there you go! We found a shortcut. Excellent. Let's, let's keep going up. Nice! We Alright! We, we found a shortcut. So all I'll have to do from the beginning is drop down here and boom. Excellent. Excellent. Alright, so let's go down to the other path then. Oh wait, actually there was, there was another area. There was a couple different areas to go. It wasn't this area. What the hell was it? Was it this area? Was this? No, this door was locked, or I can't access it really. Uh, what about this area over here? There's bound to be enemies here. I just have to be careful. Beast blood pellets times six. Oh, look at that! Look at this asshole! What an asshole! What an asshole! Oh my god, I knew it! I, I just knew it! I just knew there was an enemy that was gonna come flanking behind me. It's just... It's just this game, man. This game thinks it's so clever, but it's not. It's like, I've been through this before. Dark Souls, Demon Souls... Like... It's not much you can actually do to surprise me at this point. Uh, unless it's just jump scares, which to be quite honest is not that big of a deal. Come on, asshole, what the fuck are you doing? This guy doesn't do shit. Oh my god, look at this! It's Werewolf City over here! God damn it, man! Wow. These guys are just dropping like stars like it's out of style. Like, what the fuck? Or it's running out of style. I don't remember what that saying was. It's something like that. Oh, this is nice. What's this? 
Quicksilver Bloods, I don't want that, but thanks anyway. Thanks for the the thought. Is this where I just came from? No, this is a completely different area. I don't know what this area is. But I'm sure there's gonna be more fucking enemies flanking me. Though I saw some a couple times there. I did not. Bold Hunters Mark times two. This area is fucking filled with werewolves. I'm not a big fan of them, honestly. I mean, they're going down pretty fast, but I mean, I don't want to deal with them, really. What's this? Is that the church? If you require assistance, you only need to ring the bell. Oh my god, this is a boss area? Huh. Then what was that other area I passed up then? Let's go back if this is really a boss area. Because they, 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 there was two branching paths. And I know there, I know there's a boss in this area somewhere. I, I, I think I need to fight him. Oh no, wait. I know, if I remember correctly, I think, I think he's an optional boss now that I think about it. Ah, it doesn't matter. Optional, required, makes no damn difference to me. I'm going to kill everyone. Wait, was this the... No, this wasn't it. It was this area, but I have no idea what's over here either. It's probably a dead end. Yeah, it looks like it. Look at that, it looks like a door or something. Scouting my areas out, making sure anything's alright. What's this? This gate does not open from the side. Okay. Whatever. I, I know one of the areas le le leads you to a place called Upper Old Yarnum or something like that. I really don't like the fact that these corpses fucking move. It's fucking scary. Now, I might be over-leveled for this boss. I don't know. I, I know, I, you know what, I don't really understand why people say, Oh man, level 40 to fight this boss, man, you over-leveled. Like, I, I don't understand people's logic. Like, the game allows you to level up. Like, why are you concerned about what level someone is? Don't get me wrong, I didn't grind fucking 20 levels just to breeze through this area. The fact is, outside of the initial phase of level um, 4 to 12 off-screen, because I had so much and I didn't really want to lose it, and I didn't, and I didn't unlock the, uh, what the hell you call that? And I also didn't unlock the, uh, oh, I see this is my thing. I didn't unlock the merchant. I don't think. Or if I did, I there was nothing useful to buy. I just ended up wanting to spend my uh, echoes on it, on leveling up, because I needed to level up. I felt like I was under level since I picked up the deprived class, you know, so. That was only my main reason for leveling up off screen for 8 levels. But outside of that, I didn't do it on purpose. Like, oh yeah, I'm gonna grind for 500 fucking levels. No, I, I'm not like that. I like, oh wait, what the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? You still have health left? Oh my god. That looks like reminiscent of a curse. I thought I said this yesterday, but uh, maybe not. Cold blood dew. Alright, alright. Also, I just want to make something known, and I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna be really being honest about this because I really don't like the Souls community at the moment. Like, I feel like they are the most pompous bunch of kids out there today, thinking they know better than everyone else. Um, of course, if this, if you're not if you're not an elitist uh, uh, fanboy of the Souls series, then this probably doesn't really uh, probably doesn't. Um, it's, this is not about you, pretty much. But... Okay, that was, that was why I woke up, right? And this is the thing I need to ring the bell for assistance. Alright. This is obviously the, the boss area. I don't know how tough he is. Uh, but anyway, to, to make something known here... No, that wasn't it. You see where it says Frenzy Resistance? Now, let me ask you a question. What the fuck does Frenzy sound like to you to me 
the definition of frenzy is when someone is incredibly aggressive and panicked, and and it's just like like you know, like Amelia when she's doing her fucking ground swipes. Like I said, she was frenzied, and that's kind of what the definition of frenzy is. You're you're going wacky, crazy. You're wa wailing so fast without thought. You're just trying to. Um, you're just trying to attack your enemies as viciously and fast as possible, okay? Yeah, this is totally a boss fight. You can tell. Look at. Oh no, this is not. This is not a boss fight yet. It, lo it looks like a werewolf. Uh, but apparently frenzy is kind of like. I I, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. It's kind of like. Uh, people say it was kind of like bleeding, which it's not. I don't think some people said it was more like an advanced poison because that's how it works. Honestly. It's not obvious what frenzy is. People have their own theories. That's all I'm saying. And this looks like a great place for an ambush. I'll tell you what. I don't trust this area. I I walked forward. I'll attack that idiot. What the hell is that guy? It doesn't even look like. Oh boy, what's this? Is this the boss fight? Actually, that does look like the boss fight to me. Okay, well fuck it. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get myself prepared. Let me see. The Molotovs. I have the poison. I think I need poison for this boss fight. So I, I should probably get rid of the pebble. I'm not gonna be needing that. Yeah, that that, 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 that should be pretty good. Yep. Ooh, look at that. Two more. Oh, baby. Whoa! The range on this motherfucker. Oh, look at that! Maltov does. Oh, what the fuck? That's not what I want to do. Yeah, look at that. It works wonders on this boss fight. You know what this guy looks like? Uh oh. He's evolving to the next stage. I just made this fight completely irrelevant. I'm just telling you right, right now. I probably didn't hit him there, so it doesn't matter. So you want to come? Oh shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! No, no, no! Let's not do that. Oh my god, no! This is why I need the antidotes. Damn! He's still hitting me. Oh my god! Shit, the range of this guy is fucking immense. No! I didn't mean to do that! Fuck! Shit! Damn, he's like wilding out here, alright. Now. Alright. Uh oh. He's in this frenzy state. No. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? Oh my god. I 
poison buildup needs to be. Whoa, 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 hold on. Oh my god, the camera's turning me around. Camera, no, 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 no. Yeah, goodbye, motherfucker. See ya. <laughs> wow. The fum the Fumero Chalice. Nice. I got two trophies and one, man. Woo! Wow. All right. So if you didn't have any antidotes or even have fire bombs, this fight would be incredibly fucking difficult. Now, granted, that two that two handed swing I was doing with that axe does insane damage because I leveled it up so much. Uh, but outside of that, that boss fight was awesome. Um, even though I won, even though I kind of well, I don't want to say cheese or, or cheaply won, but. Uh, someone just told me about his weaknesses. It was kind of messed up at first, but I never got a chance to actually fight him, so I didn't know how it would work. I almost died! You saw that, right? My health was depleting before I ended up putting an antidote and spamming my health items. So, don't think this is an e there was an easy victory, man. I got fucking owned at one point in this fight, so... It was a challenging fight, but I pulled it off. I got lucky at one point. Um, I managed to get it off in time, and I just bolted away. He is fast! He is fast. He has a lot of range. Um, yeah, I want to say he has to, he actually has more range than Amelia. So it's very possible that you could probably die if you're not careful and you're not quick with your button reactions. Now, I'll be honest, I'm I'm still trying to get used to the game. Really, it, this is a little bit different than Dark Souls because with Dark Souls, you you it was a little more slower paced. It was kind of fast but slow too, and and you can you can have shields and you have other magic spells and all that stuff. So you so you can take it at your own pace. This game forces you to play fast and plays you to and forces you to play aggressive. You cannot sit back like I was just doing and expect to get any good hits off for fire bombs or the fucking Molotov I have on because. The Molotov, not the Molotov, the uh, flamethrower. Because quite frankly, it's not, it wasn't gonna work. Um, he would just come at you sporadically, wailing. It was pretty tough. I, I will say that much. It was pretty tough. But I fought through it. I beat the boss. It was a pretty good fight. Fight. I like it. Really interesting boss. At first, it, it kind of looked similar. I want to say to the. Gaping dragon with, with the flaps coming out of his mouth. I kind of thought that kind of the leak design that uh, I don't know what I'm trying to say. The flaps coming out of his mouth kind of resembled that of the gaping dragon to me. Um, but outside of that, you can tell it was uniquely designed. Almost every boss fight I encountered was, was different. You know, you look at you know the um, the what the fuck the oh, I've got the, the cleric demon or the cleric beast. He was big. And at times he could be a little fast, but he was predictable, okay? Then you go to uh, the father. He, not only was he fast, he was aggressive. But once he changes the beast form, oh my god, the fight went to a new difficulty level. I don't think there's any other way we can go here. There's only one other way we can go, and that's progressing through the normally of this area. So I would have to go... Uh, how do you progress normally through this area, though? I don't know. Well, that was a pretty good fight, I thought. I mean, I... It's some... Did something open up when I beat him? Like, I don't understand the whole point of this. Oh, by the way, I, I want to let you guys know. There's an actually an area that opens up if we allow ourselves to be killed. Now, I'm not really... I don't want to... I mean, typically, who wants to fucking get themselves killed? Honestly, I'll be honest. I... I don't want to force myself to be killed, but I want to see it though. I want to experience it because I've heard that if you let them kill you, they take you to another area and you're in prison. Okay? Kind of like Duke's archives. But then you fight these guys and they're pretty tough. But I want to I wanna unlock the lamp because I want to go back there. They also drop the Twin Shard Bloodstones pretty frequently as well. Um. Doesn't something open up after I just got that? Wait, hold on a second. Okay, maybe not. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Apparently, this thing's not being responsive at the moment, which is fucking great.
Uh, 2,000 now? Really? Really? Two th okay, whatever. I know, hold on a second. Fuck that, no. I don't know why it wasn't working here. Where is it? Oh! Speaking of which, yes. I can use this. I, I can actually turn this into a blood gem and place it on an item. It... I actually looked up online what it does. It doesn't have any other use besides this, and it's fucking awesome. It does 50% more damage to beasts, I think. Like, like those type of beasts that I just fought. That's pretty cool. I may want to do that as well. Um, where is it? I just picked up a new item. What the fuck was it? It wasn't that. Well, giant mechanical pellets that grant short-lived beasthood. I don't think... Like, I, I'll be honest, I'm not really, in, I'm not, in, I'm not into this type, type of stuff, so I'll be leaving there. I think it was over here. Well, that's, that's that. That's not what I was looking for, really. Where is it? Ah, oh, the foom, ch okay. The, the ritual chalice found in the church of the good chalice. Used in a ritual at the tomb altar in the hunter's dream to break the seal of the old underground labyrinth. Let the chalice reveal the tomb of the gods. Let blood be a hunter's nourishment. And let ye partake in communion. So he found our first chalice. I'm assuming this has some sort of significance. Because remember, the, the guy said earlier to find the chalice. Oh look, he appears back. Let's talk to him again. Let's see what this guy has to say before we do anything else. The healing church. And the blood ministers who belong to it were once guardians of the hunters in the times of the hunter Ludwig. They worked and forged weapons in their unique workshop. Today, most ministers don't recall the hunters, but they have much to offer you. And so, heed the message of your forebears. Ascend to Erden Chapel. Really? Ascend to Erden Chapel. From there, you will find the church workshop. Ascend to earth from there. You will find the church workshop. Okay, so I just want to quickly mention something. Now, there's two things in this game that it does pretty interesting. Um, there is a statistic where, as you guys can see, the insight gives you more knowledge of the world around you. And things opened up. Like, for example... The more insight you have at one point, the less resistance you are to beasthood or something, but on top of that, it also allows new things to appear that you probably have never seen before. Like on, I think, Insight 12, I think I read, or Insight 10, new random enemies start appearing, like that hunter we were just seeing over there back at the, uh, the old Yarnum. He wasn't there, I think, the first time I went there, because remember, the first time I went there, I was only on level, I was only at 9 Insight. Uh, so I don't think I, he came over there when I had 9 insight. I think that only happens at certain levels. On the other hand, by more insight, you decrease the amount of uh, beasthood you can have. Now, according to beasthood, beasthood allows you to have more damage percentage, if I, if I looked, if, if I've been told correctly. Like, your damage, your bonus damage increases a lot at the cost of being... Um, uh, stupid and a moron, as I say. That, that's kind of why we have all these fucking uh, madman's knowledge. I'm not going to use these right now, but it's good to have on the back burner, just in case. I'm going to level up now. Welcome home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very well Shut the fuck up. Alright, so I have two level up. No, I don't. Oh, you know, no, yeah, I do. Okay, I'll put one into Blood Tinge, okay, and leave it like there. Because I don't know if I'm really going to be buffing up my blood tinge anytime soon. I figured 10 would be the minimum. I think for right now, what I'll do is I'll put one into strength. You know what? No, I'll put, I'll put one into endurance. Yeah, I'll put one into endurance. Yeah. Okay. 
So one in Blood Tinge, one Endurance, and I, that's it. I think I'm done with Blood Tinge for now. And what I'll do is I'll just focus more on maybe um, Endurance and maybe Vitality. Unless I really want to increase my strength more. Oh, I have 12th. I have, I have another level up? Wow, what? what? Oh, okay. Okay, so let's, let's see. Do I want to put one in strength now? Or another one in endurance? Oh, I get it. I didn't put one into endurance. I, I must have did this by accident. Okay, I, I'm an idiot. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking stupid. Let's put one in endurance now because I put one in blood tinge. Alright. Now. Farewell, good hunter. May you oh, that find... can't be right. That can't be right. I must have put another one into stamina then. Remember, I was level forty before this before this session, right? And I leveled up when uh, before I went out into the world. I le oh, that's right. I leveled up again after the the witch fight. Yeah, I leveled up once. That's right. So I was forty two, and then I okay. I yeah yeah okay. Never mind. Never mind. I'm an idiot. I don't remember shit. Okay, so now. Uh, that's the witch abode. We don't really need to go there. There's what I want to. I want to fight these guys. Wait, let me see. The church of the good chalice. Let's go to the the cathedral. Because I, after beating that, after beating that boss, new enemies start spawning. They call them the. The what the fuck they call them? They call them something. I don't know what the fuck they call them now. The the takers. Uh, the Snatchers, yeah. But these guys are cool. They drop like the Twin Stone Blood Shards. Oh no, I think my internet's starting to crap out. Yeah. Oh no. Well, I kind of disconnected, but I'm still online now. Well, I'm online, but it would seem like that one side I was going to it's not loading. Oh well. Oh, okay. It's loading now, I think. Yeah, yeah. Kidnappers are large enemies that begin to appear in various areas after the hunter defeats the Bloodstar Beast. If they kill the hunter, they will kidnap them and take them to an area associated with the, the Hypogin Gao Lamp, an earlier version of the of the Yagurl. The Yagurl? The Yagul? I think it's supposed to be Yagul. It's like Y-A-H-A-R, uh, uh, a little dash line, like, I guess, like, uh, and, um, it's, I don't, I think it's supposed to be a part quotation, like a, the one half quotation mark. I forgot what it's called. I'm really bad at English at the moment. Uh, G-U-L. So, so that's Y-A-H-A-R-G-U-L. All right. And I think now this door opens up, right? Ah, look at this. It opens up now. Cool. Let, let's see where this goes first before I go talk, see that beast. I think this actually takes us to the upper cathedral. Oh my god! What an asshole! Okay, you know what? This guy's mine. Okay, I guess I don't need the antidotes right now. I should probably just put that back, put the Molotovs back. I don't have much of Molotovs anymore either. I might have to spend some of that. Uh, well, let's see. One, two, three, BOLT! Fucking machine gun, what an asshole. You're just as bad as the other dick ass I was fucking fighting earlier. Wow, I attempted to fight. Oh, look at this. Making sure no mimics in this game. The communion! Ooh, another, uh, rune. The child rune, whatever it's called. Communion, higher blood vital maximum, plus one, so I get to hold one more. Eh, that's, that's pretty cool, that's pretty cool, I like it. So I get 21 instead of 20, I guess. Is this where I need to go? Oh my god, snipers. So I guess you want to fight too, huh? An asshole, really. What the fuck? Oh 
Oh my god, this is like fucking shit right here. Okay, you know what? Bull run! Alright, so there's a lot of enemies here. Oh! The Healing Church Workshop! There we go! There we go. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, that, that silence said it all. That was embarrassing, man. <laughs> wow. Well, that was the stupidest death today. It was actually my first death today. Well, I can't say I died because uh, I was uh, beaten fairly, but that was a shitty death. But death nonetheless, and a death I must... I must, uh, uh, as they say, accept responsibility for. That was just fucking sad. This is death, but there was another area I didn't jump off to. I want to try that. Oh, okay. That wasn't the area. I think I messed up, but okay. This guy's a fucking dick, man. Stop wasting your fucking crap on that shit, you dumb uh, dumb mouse. Dumb mouse. Okay. Let's go over here. Let's throw some enemies over. That's my souls that apparently I or so actually someone might have had my souls. What the fuck? How did I get hit from a bullet? Oh my god. Alright, let's get bolt. Let's go. Yeah, I think the other guy took 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 my souls, I think. Or not? Are those souls gone forever? Maybe. Uh Yes, let me just fall off. That's exactly what I want right now. This area before I do anything. This is a, this is a gaping hole. You could like you could drop down from here though. Interesting. I have no idea what the hell my fucking souls went to. They really just die off. Okay, sure. Okay, let's look at this guy. God damn it. Uh, if I knew that asshole was there, I probably would have tried to kill him faster. 